Hey YouTube Combo community, welcome back to another video from King Midas Collects. We're live over on twitch.tv slash there can be only Vaughn. Uh, showcase a quick little mail call. We have a uh, Comic Tom 101 mystery mail box to go through. Really excited about these. They come in once a month. Uh, it's in a little early this month, which is pretty cool. Uh, well, rather, we, we pay two weeks in advance and then, and then it shows up. But when it said it shipped, I literally got it the next day, which is pretty cool. And uh, I'm going to show you a couple of the uh, My Comic Shop books that have come in. These are just... Um, I've shown you a couple of these already, so I'm kind of moving them out of the way. You guys saw these in the last video. These are all the uh, KRS exclusives. Yep, that one too, that one too, that one. Oh, no. Wait, I showed you guys these. <gasps> I showed you guys half of these. So let me get these all out of the way here. Yay. Just a whole ton of books. These are all the low, low wood books. Yep, okay, there we go. There it is, I can see the Sienkiewicz. So a lot of these feature, again, we're looking at some of my more favorite artists, right? Bill Sienkiewicz, some more Jenny Frizen's gonna be in there, maybe some Jen Bartel, I think. Um, uh, who else? Art Germs are gonna be, we'll, we'll go right through it as we get to it. But first and foremost, we're going to get into the mystery mail call from Comic Tom 101, follow him on YouTube. We already pre-opened the uh, the Gemini so that we can get to the bag. So the grand prize was a ASM, I believe 122. That's the the death of Green Goblin, and 121, of course, was the death of Gwen Stacy. So usually it comes with a with a card, and here it is here with a, a little art print too. But the card, main mystery mail call. So first off, it says geek responsibly with. Uh, Adrian Chase there, Vigilante. If you guys seen uh, Peacemaker on HBO Max, it's like probably the best show that came out this year. So here's the main mystery mail call. Two of the exclusives are uh, boys related books. And there you go, there's your big key right there. So we have, I can't remember the name of the characters, but boy season three is getting ready to come out this summer. So stay tuned for that on Amazon. And then there's also uh, Misfits Clubhouse. You either get the uh, the color or the black and white. So Spidey, I think that's 122 for the count. But on Instagram, if you follow, if you follow Comic Tom 101, he also dropped an ASM 316 just randomly in the uh, mystery mail uh, boxes. So somebody got it. Maybe we got it. Who knows? And here's the uh, print. Another print of a uh, uh, home homelander. I almost said homemaker. Like why would it be homemaker? <laughs> And this says it's uh, out of 2100, 1061. So for the print on that one. So let's see what we got here. Um, we'll start off. They said that they put mature stickers on the back of the boys books, as you can see here. So we already know this is the boys. There's three different variants that we could have got. Here's the first one. Looks like this is the A cover. Let me see, I'm not sure though. Pretty sure that's the A cover. Another mature here. So this is the uh, Homelander. This is the A cover again, but these are virgin variants. I'm not sure what issue of the boys it is, but uh, still pretty cool to have. And uh, here is our Misfits Clubhouse. So we got the regular edition there. Cool. And for the two random books. Looks like they're 90s goodness, AKA not goodness. Green Lantern Emerald Dawn 2, issue number five and Generation X 45. Um, we have a direct edition and a direct edition. Two books I don't own, but also two books I don't really want. <laughs> but the, uh, the variants a lot of the times for the comic Tom 101 mystery boxes are more than worth it. So those are great variants. So moving on to the My Comic Shop orders. We got two of them to go through here. It's going to rapid fire. Just want to show you guys what I'm into uh, and books that I've missed over the last couple of years because I stayed out of comics for about three and a half years. So first up, we have a Joker 80th anniversary. This is the Bill Sienkiewicz cover. Classic Sienkiewicz there. We got Art Germ here. Phoenix Resurrection issue number one we have a uh, miracle man issue number 16 i can't really remember what the what the deal was with these or why i picked them up 
but this is um I guess it was more like cover buys with, with Miracle Man. Um, here is an Alex Ross cover for issue number five. And then we have a issue 12. It says, uh, it says Terry some, I don't know who did this one, but this one's probably bag 12 C. Oh, you know what? This was a variant cover that was, uh, uh, for cheap, so that's why you picked it up. Uh, Marvel issue number two. I think these uh, sell because of their good girl covers. <laughs> Gogo Power Rangers issue number nine. This is the second appearance of uh, the Ranger Slayer. So I'm still looking for issue number eight. We got the B cover variant for Obi Wan. The Gist cover, which is phenomenal. Some Adam Hughes goodness with Legionnaires. So we have issue number seven that he did. He only did a few of these covers. So there's seven. Classic uh, 90s Hughes. Then we have issue 14. Next up, we have uh, some Jenny Frizen love here. Loki, Agent of Asgard, issue number five. Red Sonia, 13, in a fine condition. Jenny Frizen again. Issue 15. Really glad to have these. I'm glad that my comic shop actually had them in stock. Issue number 7. Ha Ha, issue number 6, the Dr. Seuss variant. We have a Carrie Andrews Green Lantern 10. I just thought this variant was amazing and we got it for a buck, I believe. Another issue, two issues of Scorched number five because it's a uh, X-Men Todd McFarlane homage. So I guarantee you those books will probably go up in the future. Those homage covers tend to do that. Then we have the uh, Scorched number five again, the blank variant. Blank variants are great to take to conventions. Uh, we have some more Adam Hughes. So we have Ghost issue number five from the 90s. Issue number six. So we're, we're getting close. I think we're over 50% on, on almost all of Adam Hughes's covers, honestly. We're getting all of them. Another copy of issue number one. This is my second copy of that, but it was pretty cheap. So I decided to get another one. And this one's probably in better condition, to be honest. Issue number three and number two. Back to some Morrison Kevich. He did these Joker 75th anniversary covers. Well, or DC did rather, but Sinkevich did uh, one for Green Arrow, issue number 41. We have Dustin Wynn. Love, love me some Dustin Wynn. He did a variant cover for Justice League Power Rangers, issue number one with Cyborg and a Blue Ranger. Next up, we have a classic. Um, I believe this is, this is saying on air, a Steve Ditko cover from 1971, Haunt issue number six. So it's very beat up, but it's a Ditko cover. So people don't know that he did that. I was is missing issue 39 of Monstrous, so we went and picked that up. All right, Jeannie, take care. And Shang-Chi issue number 10. I guess our chat isn't working right now, so that's why it's not scrolling here live. Buckhead, Enter the Elseverse, issue number three. This is the video game variant. Of course, we pick up everything video game related. Majora's Mask action there. Some more art germ love with uh, the D variant for Dark Knight's Death Metal. Jenny Frizen, Wonder Woman. 58. The Crew, issue number three. We have Why the Last Man, 47. And with this, this is the final book to complete the entire run. Pretty cool. This is really cool. This is the, uh, from Graphic India, Devi Rebirth. Jenny Frizen did these covers, all five issues. So they had issue number three and issue number four. So we picked those up. Very cool. 
this is really funny friendly spider-man issue number five so we have a cameo appearance of uh the luchador the masked uh, villain luchador that only lasted two issues his first appearance in issue number six and then issue number seven as well um <clears throat> apparently bad bunny is supposed to play this character and he's getting his own live action movie i don't know what the hell sony's doing <laughs> with all these villains getting their own movies i mean morbius really wasn't well received and now we're just like hey you know what morbius did well so let's go ahead and make another movie all right good job guys anyway uh issue number five is supposed to be like the first cameo or something uh i love this one because it's david aja bloodshot issue number one from valiant and some more adam hughes with danger girl issue number three classic hughes yelling the ah which is his signature there some josh middleton love aquaman issue 32 of course we all learned that amber heard was released from her contract with dc biggest hottest topic going on right now in in, in the world of uh i guess celebrity gossip right catwoman 80th anniversary this is the art germ variant some more Janie Frizen. I gotta find all of these. This is the only one that they had in stock. Black Panther 166. There's four connecting covers that Jenny Frizen did. Some Stephanie Hans Barbarella. Which is absolutely beautiful. Love it. Some old school Black Panther. There's a couple other ones here too. There's a there's a lot, guys. They, these are all like super cheap. They had a sale. So I picked up a lot of awesome books that were on my that were on my um, wish list. So a Dark Knight Master Race. Uh, this is the Dynamic Forces J. Lee variant. <clears throat> this book is uh, from the 90s called Chassis. It's in fine condition. It's probably worse than the fine, so they probably didn't grade this great. But Hughes did two of the covers. This one almost looks like Hughes, but it's not. But it's still a pretty good cover. So you can tell it's like early 90s for sure. Next up, some Deadpool Cable action. Scotty Young. Before he was doing all the uh, the cutesy baby versions of all the characters that he does now. His, his signature look. A Gabriel Del Otto Catwoman 80th anniversary. Beautiful paint there. Adam Hughes, DC Comics presents Superman number one. He also did a Batman of this too that people don't know about. So be on the lookout for that if you want all your Hughes stuff. Some more Sinkevich with Infinity War or Countdown Black Widow. Holding that gun there. Love Sinkevich. Legendary Moon Knight run. That's what he's most known for. In fact, this week, Moon Knight number 11, there's a 1 in 25 Bill Sinkevich coming out. Aquaman 28, so some more Mara Middleton. X-Force issue 18. I, I forgot who the artist was on this one, but fantastic cover there. And some more Middleton. Aquaman with 33. Those are underrated. Like Middleton is got or skyrocketed again because of his Batgirl variants. During the same time period, but those Aquaman ones are really, really good too. Some Jay Lee action with Black Panther 13. Just straight cover by there. Greg Land, Domino number one. Love me some Greg Land. And another Black Panther issue number 35. Marvel Team Up, Ultimate Marvel Team Up number eight. More Bill Sienkiewicz. Just finding all these like random covers that Sinkevich did, so you gotta pick them up. They're cheap. Love to add them to the collection. Another Black Panther issue 36. Uh, I just didn't have this one, and I liked all the uh, Miles variants that they were doing earlier this year. Daredevil 34, Miles and Electra there. Some more Sinkevich. We have Fantastic Four, the official magazine. Or excuse me, Marvel Index, official Marvel Index with Fantastic Four on the cover that Sinkevich drew. Beautiful Sinkevich goodness. 
Another cover by here with uh, Master of Kung Fu, issue 71. I forgot who the artist was on this, but classic cover. And last but not least, we have two more books here. Another J. Lee Batwoman, Rebirth, number one. It's the last of J. Lee. And then these Tiger books, last one I needed to complete the miniseries here. Issue number three. I just love the muted, the color scheme here with the with these covers all four issues look phenomenal but that was uh some my comic shop back issue buys just to get some books off the wish list that were pretty cheap some some kevich stuff that i wanted to knock out some more hues that i was missing some frizzins those red sonias like you can't find those so i'm glad that i was able to find them and some other sparingly other or excuse me <laughs> other artists that you have to look out for like uh stephanie hans and uh, jay lee and who else was there josh middleton carrie andrew carrie andrews scotty young uh who else was in here um <coughs> gabriel del Otto, art germ those guys do fantastic fantastic work staples in the comic book community if you know them so thanks for tuning in to this video really appreciate showing you guys what i got comic tom 101 mystery box is kind of a dud but always happy to support the community at large because those guys do amazing things for the community so do all the cool social media things guys follow the description and the links down below and it really helps out the channel you know how it is so thank you so much for joining uh sorry for the twitch chat for for the for the chat not scrolling because we did this live on twitch but they are watching so we'll see you in the next video bag and board